Now, I'm assuming the winner of that $400 million Powerball jackpot is watching me at this very moment wondering where to invest. Well, first things first, pay your taxes. Oh, I see you already have. You opted for the lump sum $235 million payment with the rest going to Uncle Sam. Now, that would be 165 million smackers for Uncle Sam for doing nothing. Just standing by with his hand out while you were winning, getting a lot of hands. I say then invest in Washington, D.C. real estate because, well, Uncle Sam's getting it done. The government is getting it done. Invest in places that's getting it done, like Washington. It never, ever has a recession. Now, leaving aside what Washington does with all of that dough, why not more lotteries so we can get them off our backs going after our dough? Sound crazy? We'll bounce it off Matty Dutler's hair and Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee, what do you think of that idea? More lotteries. Neil, At least I, they don't bother this us. Is one, yeah, this is one of your best ideas yet. I think we should have a Washington subsidized lottery. We'll call it the Uncle Sam 401k plan. Uh, Pajama Boy can stay at home, sip his latte. Government subsidized lottery ticket. Banking on winning the lottery. We'll have professional lottery players all across the nation. Totally comport with the ideals of yeah. liberalism. People can stay at home, have the luxury to work. Nancy Pelosi will be happy. So will Jay Carney. It's great. Great idea, Neil. <laughs> the question is where that money goes, Matt. Right. right? Exactly. I mean, uh... yeah. Well, and the thing too, if you leave the government with all their stimulus programs, people then, of course, would take the money and spend all of it. If you were to believe the fact that redistributing right. money works, uh, and you know, you and I were talking about, we don't know if people actually do you take the, the lump sum if a lot of people would take the... I've never known anyone who's not taken Which the lump sum. Which to me is so interesting. Now, I have no way to prove that. Right. In my memory, I don't remember. I was like, no, I'm going to take it over... Uh 20 years right. and absorb the tax by a lesser rate. <laughs> well, and you know, these, if you, if you absorb it over the number of years, you know, it's backed by securities, you right. do eventually get the money. And you said you pay less in taxes. But on the other side, when you're considering the lottery, we have to remember that this is a big money maker for states. States took yeah. about $19 million on this. We, we don't know what they do with it, though, right? I mean, see, Kayla, what I would say is it's sort of like when they started these lotteries, the ostensible beneficiary was supposed to be schools, right? By now, you think all yeah. the kids would have gold-plated MacBook Airs, right? <laughs> they don't. And in fact, they're dumber than ever, um, <laughs> except my kids, who are just barely hanging on. But I, I, So it obviously isn't going to that intended purpose, right? Yeah, you're, you're, you're totally right, Neil. The, the lotteries basically are a government Ponzi scheme. You never win. I, I've never met a lottery winner. I don't know if you have, Neil, but I, I highly doubt it. So the money's just taken by the government, and, you know, we all just throw the money and hoping we'll be that one in one million person struck by lightning or winning, winning the lottery. But it just, it's more government waste, more government blow to add to our $17 trillion debt. Um, well, so, I have yeah. actually met some lottery winners. Not the really, really big ones, but some, I, well, one guy I remember won yeah. 15 million. He blew it all, I mean, like in a, in a couple of years. I mean, at parties, fancy cars. He was very generous, got gifts for a lot of people. So now I'm just telling you, he's out now, all the money. And he's, well, he's actually back to working in journalism. So <laughs> what a turnaround that pathetic career was. But uh, is that any different than the government taking the money? Well, you can avoid some of those taxes if you give it away as gifts. So maybe altruism is the answer for you. You know, no, if you want to try and give it away, there's, uh, there's only one stay with a gift tax person. But there are, my point, I'm being facetious about it, ladies, but they're obviously not taking the money and, and just uh, cutting down deficits in various states or mm -hmm. debt in general. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They're just. Yeah. spending more so whether we can attach a proviso to this and say oh, it must be earmarked i know that's a horrible word no so but, I agree with you, yeah. but they never do well yeah. and a lot of these states have that issue they raise tax on a number of things on on distilled spirits on uh, cigarettes it's a lot on easier soda. to raise money yeah. than the and, and to justify is saying and, it has an intended purpose which right. of course most of this money goes into general coffers and never makes it to the feel-good reasons that they give absolutely. us for raising the taxes absolutely yeah Kelly. yeah and Neil, the $170 trillion, or excuse, yeah, um, million dollars, excuse me, that the government's confiscating from these lottery winnings will only satiate government spending for 30 minutes. The government spends $430 million That's a minute, a $10 billion a day. It's unfathomable. And all, all to fund liberal failed thought experiments like Obamacare and uh, the failed well, stimulus plan. When anyone on the right or the left starts to spend, or we need more money for infrastructure, and I talk about, yeah. like I said, 120 billion or so that goes to infrastructure spending already. I, I'm open to. I, I see the bridges falling, the roads falling. Well, I said, well, then what did you do with the money we already gave you? Then I'm open right. to if you've completely accounted for it. All right, I guess we need more dough. But they don't do that. It's right. several I mean, ready jobs. It's 
Yeah. It's all shovel-ready jobs, Neil. Well, they're <laughs> shoveling goes. something, but it's not jobs for good. <laughs> yeah, and the shovel-ready jobs are going to union workers who are overpaid two and a half times more, mm, and that's yeah. the problem. You know, you've got a highway trust fund that the gas tax is supposed to be feeding. Good example of how we were sold a bail, uh, bill of goods on this. And all the money goes to bike paths and beautification museums and trains and that sort of thing. It doesn't right. go to highways. That's the problem. The bike path thing, yeah. it's easy, because it's single file. You know, yeah. so it's, uh, <laughs> ridiculous. Ladies, thank you very, very much. All right, well, now...